Palmer's probably in two minds, isn't he? He, he probably is. knows that he's got to kick it, but probably doesn't feel like he can. Here well, is he Bergsorg. We'll take on Furlong. Edge of the penalty area. He's gone past him, Bergsorg. Into the box. Bergsorg shoots. And Bergsorg scores. Huddersfield Town have the lead against West Bromwich Albion. And the man who opened the scoring in the reverse fixture at the Hawthorns has done so here again. Flicks it on. Won back, though, by the Huddersfield defence, and then Mowat beats Rodoni to the ball. Dian Garner through towards Jed oh. Wallace to go past Tom Lees. Furlong, and then He's Wallace offside. leaves it. Weidman is offside. offside. Appeals for offside. He is Black offside. Is down for now. Albion will continue. Andy Weidman gets to the byline. Weidman pulls it up. Oh, there it is! Rock. And it's an equaliser. And, and there's again. no offside. He is and offside. Huddersfield <laughs> are furious. Albion have equalised, and every single person inside this stadium was waiting for the offside flag to come. It does and it's pulled across goal by Andy Vyman and swept into the back of the net by Mikey Johnston and listen to the boos inside the John Smith Stadium well we'll take another look at that one on the monitor Andy I'm just but Albion are back on level terms and Mikey Johnston has scored again oh it's close it's close. I, thought it was a, I thought he was way offside it's the big centre half playing him on I think, the, I think the linesman's got it right I thought it was offside initially but it's great work from Vyman, and he pulls the ball back in. Mikey Johnson again, the kid's on fire. From the right-hand side, left-footed towards the back post. Kipre oh, looking to attack it, heading away. It falls here for Wallace, who hits it towards anywhere, anywhere. anywhere. He's bouncing around, Albion trying to force yes! it in, yes, and it's did. prickled into the bottom corner. Is that Carl Bartley and claiming Kyle it? Kyle Bartley celebrates in front of the Albion supporters. They've turned this game around inside the opening 15 minutes of the second half. Goals from Mikey Johnson and now Kyle Bartley have Albion ahead. Well, I said three minutes ago, 56 minutes, I said hopefully it will be 2 1 soon. And it is now. It's a scrappy goal, but who cares? Fantastic ball in. Kipre gets very, very close. The ball lands in the middle of the six yard box. It's a scramble. It's a hell of a ball in. Jed Wallace starts. With a great ball back, I can't even see on the replay who gets it to the last touch. It's a horrible, <laughs> horrible goal, but who cares? Albion lead Huddersfield Town by oh, two goals to one. What did we say at the beginning of this game? This isn't going to be pretty. It doesn't matter how you win. Put it to bed. It's a horrible, horrible afternoon. Reach over to the left-hand side. Looking for Mikey Johnson. We'll have another run here. Johnson will run at Pearson into the penalty area. Stepping oh, inside, Johnson not. onto his surely right foot not. again. Mikey Johnson into the box. Can't shoot. It will fall. Oh, oh, my oh, God! Yakushlu! <laughs> Absolutely fired one past Lee Nichols. What a goal! Into the corner of the net, but Albion 3 1 ahead. Well, if Mikey Johnson is having his own goal of the season competition, Okai Yakuzlu has just thrown his name into the hat with a splendid strike from 30 yards. <laughs> well, that's the best of the bunch for me. Mikey Johnson's goals are brilliant, but you do not hear a ball sweeter than this. It's a lovely pass to him. The weight's perfect, but he comes onto it, and like a bullet, it goes in. I mean, the goal is huge, isn't he? And he's got nowhere near this. He does brilliant, Mikey Johnson. He does that run, with, which we know. But look at that, like an arrow. That is absolutely outstanding from our kite. Like an arrow, this is. I mean, he, he's never going to... Look. Oh, oh, wow. You do not hit a ball sweeter than that. Take a bow, Oka. You just leave him alone now. Well, look at that. That's a great angle. They're the goals you dream about scoring, Andy. Yeah, there's not many of us, mate. They've done it. Oka <laughs> Yukuzlu with a screamer to put the Albion 3 1 up here. Stats anyway, aren't they? No, I'm not going to take the credit, Jez. I'll do a little, I'll give you a little call, don't do I? Here's Dean Garner. Give you a call and Mikey Johnston will have a run at Pearson. Oh, surely not. The only thing this game is missing now from Albion is a Mikey Johnston. Oh, oh, there it is! And he scored his second. And that's him! Well, not run. quite the cut inside and bend it into the far corner with his right. He's gone with his left this time, but he's beaten his man with so much ease down the left side of the penalty area and rolled it under Lee Nichols to add a fantastic fourth for West Bromwich Albion. A scintillating second half display in Yorkshire. Huddersfield one, West Bromwich Albion four. Mikey Johnson has two. What a run from Mikey Johnson. We all expected him to come inside. He doesn't. He takes it down the line and he's cool as a cucumber. Left foot slides it, I think, through the legs of the the big goalkeeper, Lee Nichols. Yeah, through his leg. Great finish. But well, he's on for his hat trick.
They were 1-0 down at half-time. Arguably the worst 45 minutes of football under Carlos Corbran. Yeah. Andy. Oh, yeah. yeah. What the, a way to respond. There's no, there's, I don't know what he said at half-time or what was in their tea, but wow, what a different team we've had.